Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. As your developers, we often stick to a simple rule. If it's not broken, why fix it? This means if our code is working fine, we leave it alone to avoid unexpected problems. However, software keeps getting updated with new features regularly. To use these new features, we have to update our code base, but updating the code can be really a top job and time consuming. Let's consider the example of Spring Boot. Recent Spring Boot version is 3.x and this version comes with lot of changes and code deprecation. So assume I have a Spring Boot application which is running on 2.x version and now if I want to migrate it to the 3x version then manually I need to compile each and every file and do the necessary changes which will eat my good amount of time and I will end up with lot of compatibility issue which seems challenging, isn't it? But what if there was a tool that could do all this job for me in just 2 minutes? That's where open rewrite comes in the picture. So if you go and check the open rewrite official page, you can find open rewrite is a refactoring ecosystem for Java and other source code. Sometimes we need to upgrade the dependency to the latest version, apply the security patches, eliminate the use of deprecated API and migrate from one technology to another. So we can use the open rewrite library to address these challenges rather than doing it manually. That's cool. So if you don't know what this tool is and how to work with it, don't worry, I am here to guide you. So in this tutorial, we will use open rewrite to perform an automated migration from Spring Boot 2x to Spring Boot 3.2. Okay, so without any further delay, let's get started. So to demonstrate open rewrite and how we can play with it, first we need to have one Spring Boot project with 2.x version. Okay, so already I imported one project which is Spring Security JWT example and if you will open the palm.xml, it is using 2.2.2. This is two old version. Okay, now our goal here to migrate this entire project to Spring Boot 3.2 which is the latest version. Okay, how we can do that? We can do it manually, but again, it will take lot of time and we will end up with the compatibility issue. So that is the reason we will take the help from open rewrite. But before migrating it, first let me run the application and we will validate. If it is working with our lower version, then after migrate, it should work with the latest version as well. That is what the main goal, right? If your application is running, on one of the version and after migrate if it is not running then that is a big challenges. So what we need to do? Let's run the app to validate it. So it started on 9192. I am not going to explain how to play with the Spring Security JWT if you are not aware about it. Today I uploaded one video using Spring Boot 3 version with JWT. Okay. You can search in my YouTube channel or I will just add the link in video description. If you don't know how to play with JWT with Spring Boot 3, you can have a look to that particular video. So our application is open port 9192 and if I will go to the main class, I am already adding couple of user to the DV. So I am using H2 database. So I will use this particular username and password, Java Techie and password to generate the token. Then since this is the JWT based security implementation, going forward I need to pass that token to authentication and authorization. So simple thing, I will go to the postman. First I will authenticate with the username and password. Username is javatiki, password is password. Send the request. We are getting the token. Now by passing this particular token, I will access all the endpoint of my 
application okay so this is one of the endpoint to just print the some hello world statement now i just need to pass this particular token which i just generate now now send the request we are able to see the messages so our application is stable with the current version of 2.2.2 now let's migrate it and we'll see what all things it changed and what all things we manually need to do or we manually need to fix so let me stop this now go to open rewrite official page you can find something here recipe catalog i mean the name itself is recipe it means to do some job to migrate to the spring boot that comes under lot of recipe that comes under lot of changes okay so for example to prepare some chicken biryani you need some different kind of recipe similarly to prepare some other food like uh, paneer butter masala you might need some different recipe right so to migrate from spring boot 2x to 3x you need some set of changes that comes under some set of recipe similarly you want to migrate to the java 21 then that is the another recipe it has some changes okay so that is how they, they named it as a recipe it's not by using this open rewrite you can only do the automation migration for spring boot rather you can do for all the technology listed here you can play with the jenkins kubernetes node js open api any application you want to migrate you can do this using open rewrite which will be automated your migration process okay so what do you want to do the migration for now spring boot 3.2 so simple i can go to this particular search tab and i can type here hey i want to upgrade spring boot which version of spring boot you want to upgrade 3.2 okay so you can find here right migrate to spring boot 3.2 this is what the guide just click on this migrate to spring boot 3.2 migrate application to the latest spring boot 3.2 release this recipe will modify an application's build files make changes to the deprecated preferred api and migrate configuration setting that have changes between version this recipe will also chain additional framework migration i mean spring framework spring data all the things it will migrate on your app to the latest version tag is the spring boot and how you can use that how you can tell to the open rewrite to migrate my project simple thing what build tool you are using if you are using gradle you just need to copy paste this goal and plugin but since i am using the maven i just need this particular plugin okay just copy the plugin section and go to your pom.xml just go to the plugins and add this plugin if you observe here we just added this particular maven rewrite open rewrite maven plugin a version is this and we are telling this recipe i want to perform okay my recipe is to upgrade spring boot 3 2 so whatever job you want to do that is part of recipe so by read this command open rewrite understand okay this guy is using some version of spring boot and he want me to do the automation migration for this particular version okay and this is what the rewrite spring dependency a version this now how i can run that first let me update the project so what we can do go to the maven build section and you can find something here in the plugin rewrite just expand it now first let's do the dry run so that it will give you one patch file saying that okay these are the things i found for your migration okay so let's do one simple dry run so this will take couple of seconds because it needs to scan your entire project and need to evaluate what things or what recipe need to apply for your project can you see here using active recipe this is what the migration 
and using active styles it will scan each and everything and will give you the patch file so you can see here validating active recipe resolving the palm parsing the source code file running the recipe so the build is succeeded and can you see here it just created a patch file for you you can open this patch file to validate what all things need to be changed as part of this migration so java version must need to change to the 17 and spring boot version 3 to 4 and if you scroll down there are also java code changes okay so let's not validate from here let's run it i mean the instead of dry run let's run the actual um, rewrite run then we'll validate by comparing the source code okay so this is just to identify what things will be changed as part of your code okay if you are agree with it then simply do this particular run if not do the changes or give some more info about your migration guide and then do the run okay so let me close this so these things you can directly run from maven command mbn rewrite colon run or if you want you can run from here let me run from here again it will take couple of second again it will take couple of second it will do all the steps again so let's wait it to complete so we can see the build is completed and these are the things it added as a recipe as part of our migration you can see here right now rather than validate here what i will do i will close these and i will directly do the command k so that it will show all the changes file okay now first let's validate the pom.xml check the difference so the version was 2.2.2 .2 it migrated to 3.2.4 these were the latest version okay and the java version is required for spring boot 3.17 so it considered that particular java version then it changed the junit dependency artifact and group id and this is what we added okay this plugin we have added that's fine we are good with the pom.xml this particular open rewrite smart enough to upgrade your pom.xml as per your recipe now let's check this particular user.java can you see here all the annotations earlier it was from the javax.persistence now that moved to the jakarta.persistence as part of the spring boot 3 so here also we are good now let's check the jwt filter again there are couple of classes being moved from javax to jakarta or you can say the package name itself renamed from javax to jakarta and this migration successfully import the correct um, version okay we can close it now this is the main class what changes is there again the post construct annotation moved to the jakarta so it successfully imported close it anything we missed no right so only we need to focus on this particular security config dot java now let me compare this let me zoom this for you so if we'll go line by line in spring boot 3.2 this web security configure adapter class is removed okay so this is that is the reason this particular line is crying here so this open rewrite is smart enough to identify and scan your code and do the necessary changes but somehow it is having the lack of migration guide with the open rewrite or they have some certain uh, rules or limitation to do the migration okay so if you scroll down here earlier we are using authorized request that is changed to authorized http request and we are use the ant matchers 
it changed to the request methods and if you observe here the implementation is functional implementation okay java it functional implementation is there i mean using the lambda and defining the attribute and do the method chaining okay so whatever the basic syntax it needs to update this open rewrite does it okay but somehow we don't understand why you have written this web security configure adapter which is already deprecated so he is again sharing you the link to follow this and do the migration by your own okay so 50% of task not 50 70% of task he did for us and now the 30% we need to take care because he don't understand this particular migration guide or he don't want to take the risk of it okay so if i'll open this see this now web, sec web security configure adapter is deprecated this is the old implementation move it to the security filter chain okay so what you can do here just close it we compare all the file is changed for our migration right let me cancel it i am not commenting it for now just go to the error class he is saying remove this first remove this import as well organize the import then what he is saying just use the security filter chain define this as a bin okay now here it it already does lot of changes for us but still we need to do some manual changes okay so this particular authentication manager bin is not required you can remove it so already i explain how what all migration changes required for spring security to 3x version i mean spring security change log or something like that okay i'll share that link in video description you can happily go with that but for now let me add all the required changes let me just add the template okay so simple we have done the security filter chain and authorize http request this request matches these syntax already suggested by the open rewrite okay and we have just defined the password encoder this is deprecated but i don't want to encrypt for now since this is just i am doing the testing and we have the authentication provider by giving the user detail service where it will connect to your dv and validate your username and password to provide the token okay so all good we have all the files which automatically changed by this open rewrite now let's validate whether after migration our application is working correctly or not let me start the app so it started on port same 9192 now let's go and hit the authenticate endpoint to get the token okay let me send the request we are getting 403 forbidden what is the issue okay it is saying java.lang javax xml bind data type converter okay so first i need to change my jdk structure okay i need to use the 17 i mean this is for the local testing right if it is deployed to any server based on that particular version will be automatically pulled so just do the quick change okay apply and okay and the problem here it is giving the saying that this particular error javax xml dot bind data type converter after jdk 9 this class is not attached to your jdk library okay so you need to manually add this dependency if you are using higher version of jdk 9 since we are using 17 we need it so go to the pom.xml just add the dependency jax b api this one okay now all good let's rerun our app so it started go to the postman and send the request again we are getting the token okay now let me pass the same token 
just send the request we are getting the result so we successfully migrated our old spring boot project which was there using 2.2.2 release to latest spring boot version spring boot 3.2.4 okay so and we did it with a minute but since i was explaining about how it did and what all things it did so it took time okay but really if you observe just add the plugin and run the maven um, particular plugin goal it will do your job in a minute okay so just go through this open rewrite and check with its all recipe catalog and try to understand more about other migration and we have done using the pom.xml there are other two way if you want you can create a yml file and define all the recipe what you want to do for this particular migration and if not you can also add a plugin in intellij that is open rewrite but that is not available the version what i am using it is available in the latest version of intellij idea so do let me know in a comment section if you guys find this tutorial helpful so that i can plan for intellij plugins which will give more productivity okay so do let me know in a comment section if you have any doubts that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video meet you soon with a new concept